Hey everybody, the Bond gets back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Ape Escape 2. Alright, if you're sticking around since the first episode, thank you so much. I am really enjoying this playthrough as well. Also, since the last video, I spent a lot of time just gathering some gold coins. And then I realized that when I got that fourth ape in the first level, I did not save, turned the game off, and then I had to go pick it up again. Which means that one of the rewards from the uh, gacha pool is probably no longer there anymore. So, why don't we deal with that later and instead go to Castle Frightmare? Go and capture 8 monkeys out of 11. Let's freaking go. No new gadget this time. <laughs> Bananas died in 1999. Deolavos was really rough. All right. Also, I realized you can just hold left bumper to move over there. Oh, watch out. Apparently these little creatures there are like to spit bones at ya. So, don't let them have their way with you, of course. Oh, you can't get away from me forever. Maybe you can if I can't aim to save my life. No Virgil. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll run into Dante as well. That'll be interesting, I guess. A lot of these graves are unmarked. So strange. Monkeys wearing the white pants have very poor vision. They hardly notice you even when you approach them. Be careful though, they will throw bombs at you. Move in fast and capture them before they can do you any harm. I uh, guess that explains why they have very poor vision if they're wearing white pants. So, yeah, which is one right there? So, Viv. Okay, is there anything behind the stairwell? No. I think this is the last stage I did on my original save file before I just stop playing. Okay, we can't go that way yet. However, we can go up here. Oh, thank you for saving me. At least that doll just gives you a free chance. Well, what was that noise? <laughs> Jumpy. It's very jumpy. Alright, I'm coming for ya. I'm coming for you, jump! Damn it. Speaking of jumpy, guess what I did not do? I did not jumpy across the other side. Alright, let's try this again and don't screw it up. remember if there was like one particular monkey that's really tough in this one. There are like some areas are pretty tricky. And we're at this one in the game where it's the levels are gonna get a little bit more, you know, get a little more unique. Like this is our first level that's not in some kind of villa. So there's that. Okay, there we go. I want to go that way? Okay, that's actually a window. So the answer is no. The hell? For some reason I thought that was an enemy. Oh, he's even got armor on. What? Oh. I guess I had to hit him several times to break the armor. Monkeyote. <laughs> Get it, monkey. But there's no windmills. I felt that monkey should have been in a level where there actually were windmills. I'm just saying. Ooh, nice art. Really? <laughs> Y 
Van. Huh, Van Gogh. Oh! Okay. Guess I can't get past that fire. I don't think there's a way to just put it out currently. We'll come back to that later. Hmm. And I could just use the dash, but I think it's a lot safer to just go and take your time. What, what the hell was that? I thought a part of the wall fell. Nope, just using my imagination. I'm not even gonna give you a chance to fight back. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! <laughs> okay! There's a random bed held by a bony hand. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's totally normal. I hope I can get back up in case I fall. Simon. Wait a minute, what happens if I do fall? Do I just go back to the beginning? I really hope not. That's not a short way back. Did you really think you can hide from me? What was that noise? Try another one in there. Huh. <laughs> Go from one trap to another. Count Monkula. Disrespecting the dead! At least they get nice pillows. Very comfy coffins. What's in the fridge? Too bad I can't take any of this with me to put out that fireplace. Oh well, I'll have to find another way. Oh, I see you. What? I thought I broke the armor. I thought it was like three hits to break the armor. Pierce. Ooh, some of those turned to silver stars. There's also gold stars. I didn't even know that was a thing. Gold stars give you like 10. So we can go down there. Or we can go that way. And just hit this switch. Oh, that just leads back to the beginning. So we have a shortcut now. I hope it stays down the whole time. Like, if I were to re-enter the stage, would I still be able to take advantage of the shortcut? Okay, he's just on the stairwell. Wait, is this the stairwell back to the beginning? Uh, yes? But I have to jump up here. Oh, good thing I got him, because he had the bombs. Yes. Boom. I did it. Uh, let's play a little bit of gotcha for a while. I try to do that if I'm not finishing a stage at full health. In case I end up getting cookies instead. Bingo! You won some concept artwork! Expression 2. Alright, nice. Good to know he's so happy even after a broken nose. Some concept artwork. Stage settings 1. Ooh, I wonder if I'll get a train level. That might be pretty dope. You won a soundtrack! The beginning. Hope I don't get repeats or anything. Actually, I don't think you can get repeats. A secret photo. Advanced RC car. 
I think I did have an RC car in the first game, didn't I? A soundtrack. Travel station. Okay, I think one more after this will go to the next level. Secret photo. Robo cow. That's pretty intense. Like some of these apes are just gonna have robot cows. I mean, one of them did pretend to be a uh, bullfighter. That was in a previous level. Vita Z Factory. All right, let's go. I never done this stage at all, so this will be new territory for me. It's six out of eight. Still no new gadgets. Oh, one of those apes got a gun. Here I come. Wait. Okay. Now instead of just random, like, cupcake pigs, now some of them are tanks? Or is it AI? Oh. Damn it, woman, this is your fault! I was distracted by those random rings. I kept missing there. Oh, God. Okay, at least I can use these crates as a shortcut. Yeah, let me smash this one, too. Did you see something? Whoa! There's a bomb. Wait! Did he get knocked out by his own bomb? Chomp. <laughs> he did get knocked out by his own bomb. That's convenient. Have you ever climbed a tree? That's not too difficult. First, jump towards a tree or pillar. You'll automatically grab onto it. Press the left analog stick up to climb up and push it down to slide down. Press jump again to get off. So it's kind of like horizontal place, but these are vertical, but they do the same thing. Just thought I'd remind you. Thanks. That's gotta be very uncomfortable. Good thing I'm wearing jeans. Yeah, if you rotate the right stick, you can do something like that. Which is very keen on hitting device switches like that. Oh. Hold on, do I have to go back down? I think I have to get your hands off my sack. I could have some things to say about that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it'll make some people upset. So I'm just gonna move on. Could it be over here? Did I ever go this way? What? Is everybody on this side? Yeah, it's over here, see? But I don't think there's any crates I can beat up to get in there. I might have to do that from above. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Alright. Actually, you know what? I know what I can do. I just need to jump off something like this. I don't think it was around here, though, because I think it could get on that. It was over this way, I think. 
But I don't know how I'm gonna get over there. Oh, wait a minute. There's a pipe on that extends to the other side. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Maybe if we exit through here, we can get to it. And that should allow us to hit the button on the wall. I think. Oh god. Oh, this is one of the fast ones. Oh, that's right, you can't jump and just use the hoops at the same time. Nice tracksuit, though. Oh, I thought I had a message or something. Thankfully, I did not. So I only got two monkeys left. That might be a little tricky since you gotta do double jumping sometimes. I'm pretty sure a single jump would be enough, but I'd rather play it safe than sorry. And possibly dead. Hang on, maybe I did get a notification? Sent directly to me? No, I did not. What the hell? Look, you see that, Pippo Mech? There's a cockpit inside the head. Jump to board it. Once you get inside, use the left analog stick to move around, and the right analog stick to attack. Push jump again to exit the mech. Okay, so you can't jump while still staying on the mech. Okay. Oh my god, look at this thing! Oh, they got those cute little eyes! I use a rattle with spikes on it. Maybe there be the monkey hiding in one of these uh, barrels? No. Okay. I think I just need to knock this down. So it's a very interesting machine, but it is really slow. But I think it might also be invulnerable to attacks. Oh, there was an ape in there. What? I actually cannot attack enemies with this? So I don't take any damage. But I can't deal with any damage to enemies. So, of course, as soon as I get out, I will get hit. Okay, at least I got Phil G. There you go. I did it. Now let's climb back on in case there's another thing I need to break. Music is really good too. Like I can't wait to eventually try out it Escape 3. But like I said, I was probably gonna wait until I finished 2. I think there was like another Ape Escape game, but it's for the PSP. I never played that one at all. I never played many PSP games. Like, it was a handheld that I owned, but I only played it maybe a couple times throughout the entire time that I had it. Like, I felt I should not have asked for it for Christmas because I got so little out of it. Oh. What the hell is this? Is this something that can actually destroy my Pippi Mech? Looks like there is an ape in this. Oh wait, I guess you can beat up enemies. It's just tricky to hit them. <laughs> I thought I was gonna catch the tank instead. All right, I got Bobby.
Alright, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, I think I got time for one more level. Let's go to Casino City. We got a slingshot now. Go and catch her. Ooh, 11 monkeys. <laughs> it's great fun to travel alone for a change, and I'm on a great winning streak. Hmm? Oh, what's all that commotion, I wonder? Huh? Why does that Come monkey look familiar? Hikaru, what on earth are you doing um, here? You see, we accidentally sent the monkey helmets with the pants. And then Spectre appeared and started messing around again. And and what I mean is, it's all a big mess. Yes, yes. So that's why that monkey was causing mischief. Hmm. In that case, we'd better get going. I'll rush back to my laboratory. For now, you just catch as many monkeys as you possibly can. Will do. Beepo. But I must say, I'm a little worried about Pipochi's safety. Ooh. I've got it. Pipochi will come home to the laboratory with me. Okie dokie. The professor's right, you know, Pipochi. Come along now. There you are. There's a good boy. All right, then. I'm counting on you. Wow. It's like, I know you caused some trouble, and I'm glad you're helping, but I'm gonna take your only friend. What the hell? Look at these guys. Let's go. Okay, but at least I got a slingshot. So I think I'm gonna take off the radar for now. Watch out for the monkeys wearing black pants. They're machine gun maniacs. Don't lose your head when you get shot at. A well-timed jump can safely dodge the barrage. As you're dodging the bullets, take a close look at the monkey. See that? While they're firing the machine gun, they can't run away. That's your chance to move in and take them out. Okay. Uh, Uzi! Get it! Because he has a gun! I just destroyed the slot machine. Oh my jeez! If only I could just aim to save my life! What the hell? There's a lot of gunners out here. standard catapult ammo, you can also collect explosive and multi-targeting guided pellets. You can often win these pellets from defeating enemies. Each pellet you pick up gives you one shot. Switch between pellet types by pressing the R3 button whilst using the catapult. These special pellets are a powerful weapon, so use them wisely. Okay, he's shooting at me all the way from over there. Oh god, I can't reach from this side. Unless... There we go. Vincent. I don't remember a gun named Vincent. Oh wait, this might be a great level to... Excuse me. What? Did he just take some of my money? What a jerk. I think I got more out of it than I lost, so... I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, great, now I can get some more ammo, too. So it's good we can get extra pickups now. It seems when you get a whole bunch of coins in a row, the coins that are still there that you haven't picked up yet, eventually turn into... So silver coins. And I guess if you keep getting more of that, they become gold coins. 
Which in that case, that's a great way to earn some cash. Oh yeah, this is good. Watch out for the monkeys wearing black. Don't lose your head when you get. Oh, well, at least you can press the plus button or start button to end the conversation instantly. There we go. Look how much money I have now. This is nuts. Um, what if I try going up this way? Oh my jeez. I find that sometimes the camera works against you. Also, that's Jessica. Wow. Hold on. Can I hit a lever with the slingshot? I want to see something. How do I use it anyway? Oh, right. Duh. Nope, that doesn't work. Or maybe this will work if I go here. Maybe it works on buttons. It does work on buttons. I did it. I put them back together so he can then be mine. Excuse me? Helvis! What a great name for a monkey. Like you're named after body parts. Good for you. You have made it in this world. <laughs> I wonder what's up with these stars. Do they even do anything, or are they just there for decoration? I think it's just decoration, not much else. Okay, this again, huh? Nice. I don't think I can just get up there through this way. So it looks like I might have to go through this door. Or I might have to jump across to go upstairs. Well, there's monkeys over here too, so let me go for them. Look at those schmoofs. Shit. Shaft! He's a bad mother. Shut your mouth! Jackson, of course. When you get Shaft, you have to get Jackson. <coughs> you know, it would be really cool if these shortcuts are permanent. I haven't revisited a level with shortcuts to find out. I guess I could have also used the slingshot to deal with the bees. That is an option. Did I really need to? No. It was all fine as is. Alright, we're gonna try going through this door next. I know there was another door I could have visited earlier, but I'm gonna skip it for now. Pineapple birds, let's go. This one's on a catapult, so I think I know what's gonna happen. 
You know what, I'm gonna use like a special ammo for this one. Hmm, nice flame breath there. <laughs> That's how you deal with it! Vindy! Like, I feel very vindicated using my slingshot now in such a tactical manner. I am proud of myself for that one. Oh, Gilbertus! You think I care about you, huh? Ha! <laughs> Get him when he lands. Jester. Very unoriginal name. Right, let me see if I can get this one. The yellow pants. He's just admiring that corner. So I think I'll be okay. Will he have a reason to turn around? <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> Bubbles. Not surprised we're gonna run into a monkey named Bubbles. It was bound to happen. I don't think there's any more monkeys, is there? I've already unequipped the radar. No, there's one right here. I wonder if I can just, like, knock him down and never have to deal with it this part. With this old balancing act. Okay, no, he's just gonna stay there. Oh, if he got away, I would have been upset. Purot. Or Purot. Wait, how do I get up there? Is this something I can just climb? Or better yet... I can just get that one. Raymond! <laughs> Great names like for clowns. You get Jester, Pierrot, Raymond. Well, Raymond is the name of a comedian, so I guess it fits. The monkeys have spread to more locations across the world than I'd expected. Yeah, I know. We're going through them one at a time. Ninja Hideout. Uh, probably save that one for the next episode. It's gotcha time, baby! Concept artwork. Stage settings 8. Well, I guess that's a bit of a spoiler. Hey, you're gonna go on a ship soon. Natsumi's research memo. I discovered an amazing fact today. With injuries, being in a critical condition is generally worse than having a serious injury. You had to document that, of course. Not bad, you won a cookie. Well, it got me to full health. So I can't complain. Monkey Fable. Monkey Fables, Little Red Monkey Helmet Part 2. One day, Little Red Monkey Helmet was told there was a man who had an assignment for her. When they met, Little Red didn't even offer her hand. She kept a good distance, narrowed her eyes, and icily inquired, What's the job, pal? Fearing for his life, the man shook in his boots, but he knew that this was a test that only Little Red Monkey Helmet was capable of performing. To be continued. Wonder if we're gonna eventually finish a fable soon. Monkey Fable? Oh, part three already! Little Red Monkey Helmet's assignment was to deliver a banana to an old lady living in the forest. 
After confirming that a direct deposit had been made in her bank account, Little Red immediately prepared to set out. She brought only the things that she would need. Her purse, basket, and a map of the forest. I kinda like doing these, just to try to complete as much as I can. Secret photo. Rock, paper, scissors, tournament. Thank god that's not in the game. Oh, I just won some gold coins. Okay. Soundtrack. Port Calm. And over here we get another soundtrack. Casino City. Oh my god, another soundtrack. Spectre's theme. Super Jumbo Coin. Oh, that's a couple free pulls. Monkey Fable. Little Red Monkey Helmet Part 4. Walking through the forest, Little Red Monkey Helmet met a big bad wolf. Hello, and where are you going, Little Monkey? He said. The old lady's house, replied Little Red. Oh, now you be careful, hee <laughs> hee. You could have heard a pin drop in the forest as Little Red waited for the wolf to pounce, but he did nothing. Little Red was safe. Concept artwork of Hikaru 11. Man, is that the first Hikaru I got? Note from Spectre. Even the exalted monkey king can suffer hardship. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Why would that even be in this machine anyway? Why would Spectre tell us this? Oh. I guess gold coins is usually just five. Secret photo of Robo Ape. Monkey Fable. Little Red Monkey Helmet Part 5. Finally, she arrived at the old lady's house. When Little Red stepped inside, the old lady was asleep in bed. And then Little Red noticed the old lady had strangely large ears. Old lady, why are your ears so big? She was sound asleep. I guess you don't get any new fables until you finish the one you're currently on. Game hint. Ape hint. On the bow of the pirate ship, there are two monkeys that look like they are straight out of a movie. If you jump down on them with your net, you can catch them both in one swing. Interesting. I will screw this up. Note from Spectre. Exceeding courtesy becomes rudeness. Killing with kindness. I guess that is kind of true. Oh, another soundtrack for Breezy Village. I think when I get to 505, I'll just stop for now. Enemy photo of Pineapple Finch. I want a comic strip by Goto. Missing weapon! <laughs> Battle formation! Ook eek! Where's your weapon, Private? A shish kebab! That is very clever. Natsumi's research. As long as it is still, water won't freeze at a temperature of minus three degrees Celsius. However, it will quickly freeze if it is moved. I hope none of these uh, research notes will be repeats. Little Red Monkey Helmet Part 6. When Little Red looked closer, she noticed that the old lady had a huge mouth. Old lady, why is your mouth so big? <laughs> old lady! Whoa, don't scare me like that, little girl! After Little Red gently awoke the old lady, she leaned over to give her the banana. Oh, oh wait, I forgot that was going to be the last one. Okay, this is the last one. Concept artwork, Hikaru 9. Alright, I think before I end the video, I want to go back to Liberty Island. And the reason why I want to go back... 
I'm wondering... You know that monkey on the statue? Could the slingshot be what I have needed to get it? Because if so, I'll finally be able to 100% at least one stage. So I think that would be great if I could. Oh, pressing the wrong buttons. Yeah, see? Can I knock it down? I can! That's it! Was it seriously no selling my attacks? What the hell? Henry! There. I got at least one stage 100% done. I'm so glad you finally want to see me. Concept artwork of Hikaru 10. Now he just looks like a Harvest Moon character. What the frick? Mini game corner. Here you can play the bonus games, but you'll have to win them first. No mini games here yet. Oh, are you kidding me? I have to win mini games? Could I get them in Gotcha? Soundtrack for... Oh, stage cleared. Game hint. If you get Dance Monkey, Dance Pink from the Gotcha box, you'll be able to play as Pink Money Monkey in this minigame. Oh, well, I don't have any minigames, so... Why are you telling me this now? Concept artwork for Natsumi 2. Secret photo. The three Afro brothers. I think I got both of them, did I? Or all three of them, I mean to say. Viva España. A case of explosive pellets. Oh god, you can even win ammo in this. Guided pellets. Let me try one more. There we go. Gadget Trainer, which I haven't bothered with. That's me's research memo. As long as it's... Oh no! You can get repeats of this! Oh, that's kind of lame. I don't like that. Anyway, we're just gonna save. So last I checked, my save file was at 12%. Where are we at now? There's no way to check here, is there? Unless I go to the menu. Yeah, I think so. Where am I at? 17%. Well, 17% with only two episodes. That's not too bad. That's a pretty decent pace. So anyway, let's stop here, and then the next part, we're gonna go to the ninja level. See everyone, thanks for watching.